church i hope you can get us loud and clear wherever you are happy easter good to see you all together this sunday morning easter sunday morning and it is a pleasure to have you as we praise god together so if you can hear us on if we are clear you can give us a, a thumbs up and uh, if there's any issue you can let us know and it's good to have you as we praise God together this Easter morning. Okay, so we are going to say a prayer and then we are going to sing a few Easter songs. Father in heaven, we bow before your presence and we thank you because of this Easter Sunday. We thank you that we are up and about and we thank you because of taking care of us. We commit ourselves to you this morning and we plead that you may cleanse our hearts and our thoughts from all unrighteousness. And we pray that even as we come and have this great celebration, that you are going to be together with us and that you are going to give us your blessings as we celebrate your resurrection. So be with us and give us your blessings for we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. So we are going to sing a few Easter songs. Uh, which one would you like to start with? She won't La 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 Shuga mo wa jasha mo da rafa ine, tonge shiga mo no gora ine shitu, shatoru ta kosha la ya mo kori, ora wa tu kwe ne ya mo te ine. Tu ma de, tu mo ma de, ma da ni mo kori ni to, tu mo ma de. Tomo madei madani mo kori wito Male kia kwamba madani mo tende Uwa shake mage shune ramiti Mungoli jeso ni oigire awa Mohere matyoe ore ameweka Tomo madei Tomo madei madani mo kori wito Tomo madei madani mo kori wito Moishi o mwenyaka ile madani Yeso kyo shokeri ana kiuga Ete kiare uniore korona nye Kore amaro maria gerumbare Tomo madei Tomo madei madani mo kori wito Tomo madei Tomo madei madani mo kori wito Kumale uo yo nile maito uo Nawe maito uo yo nile Isha nesha nyeso oingire Nyondo wake hanya goti nendwa ke Tomo madei Tomo madei madani mo Kori wito Tomo madei Tomo madei madani mo Kori wito Nana tenda ya reki ago Yesu wake wodo kana akiuga Eli elisa masamba 
kidani gai wa pawandi gane rianeke jomo madei jomo madei mokori wito o jomo madei jomo madei madani mokori wito takame are kya goite ka Yesu akiuga leo ni ene yote age kudia diki na kamorangi akianere roro ni wadira tomo madei tomo madei madani mo koriwi to o tomo madei tomo madei madani mo Kware du ma kumara vita na ya ye kara dinya na kenda vita ma kae karu vija choka kyugo ya ke kya modia negeke we gai papa oya no ho wa kware u we gai papa We celebrate the old ragged cross because it is in that old ragged cross that we got our salvation. So our next hymn will be when I survey the wondrous cross. Okay. La 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 my 
my soul, my life, my all. Ikliang ko na mudarapa hayang Kristo abirehe makwa. song East African Revival Fellowship that will be the song that we are going to sing Ukobozi Tumepata this is Easter and because of Easter we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ he is risen and because he is risen we have a reason to celebrate our redemption. Ukobozi tumepata. Ukombozi hakika tumepata Ukombozi wetu embu Mwenzangu ni kwambie ni urithi Usio haribika 
usio na uchafu na usio nyauka ulitozwa miguni kwa ajili yetu Bwana Yesu ulitukomboa si kwa vitu Baikwa damu ya damani ya mwana ndo wa Mungu asiye na ila na wa ya Kristo na sikwa kila na damu ya rebe kavyo na kuisha ukombozi na kika tumepata ukombozi ni kulindwa na damu zake Mungu katika majaribu bari bari inatupa furaha ku isioneka majaribu weli ya tusafi imani bwana yesu ulitukomboa si kwa vitu vi Levi alipika vyombali kwa kamu ya damani ya mwana ndo wa Mungu asiye na ila na wa ya Kristo na si kwa ila na dhabu vyaribika vyo na kuisha ukombozi hakika tumepata uri dina utajiri wetu kwa Bwana Yesu Marambi wa litavuta tavuta mai kambi guni wanatamani sana kuyashunguri ya mandaraka yetu Bwana Yesu ulitukomboa si kwa vitu vile vilivyalibika vyombali kwa ya damani ya mwana kondo wa Mungu asiye na ila na wa ya Kristo na si kwa fedha na dhabu viharibika vya na kuisha ukombozi hakika tumepata dugu kwa nini ujali ukombolewa kwako ye uoni unapoichanganya Ya safi ya wokofu na mapokeo ya dini toka kwa mwendo ndo usiyofaa Bwana Yesu ulitukomboa si kwa vitu vile viharibika vyombali kwa damu ya dhamani ya mwana kondo wa Mungu asiye na ila na wa ya Kristo na si kwa fedha na dhabu viharibika vya na kuisha ukombozi hakika tumepata we bow before your presence lord and we thank you because of the redemption that you secured for us on this easter sunday We would like to commit this nation in a special way before your presence. We thank you because you died and you rose again. We thank you because you suffered and you conquered. And during this time of our suffering, we thank you because you are a high priest who has gone on to the heavens sitting at the right hand of the father and doing intercession for us what we are going through and what we are suffering is nothing new to you you have seen it all you have experienced it all and you have conquered therefore this morning we pray for this plague that has come upon our land we pray that lord you may lift that plague from our midst we commit those people who are sick and we ask that lord you may come and intervene in their situation as we continue battling this pandemic we pray that father you may be merciful upon us we have not done what is right in your eyes and it is in shame that we confess our sins 
We have not been loving as we ought to be loving. And this morning, as we celebrate your resurrection, we pray that you may give us hearts of humility, hearts that will be turned back to you. It is you who have said in your word that when you shut the heavens so that there is no rain, <clears throat> or if you visit calamity upon the land, and the people who are called by your name harbor themselves before you, confess their sins, and seek your face, that you will hear from heaven, and you will heal their land. O oh Lord, we confess that we have sinned against you, in word, in thought, in deed. We are not worthy of your graces. Indeed, we are objects of your wrath. But we thank you because of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice on the cross that we are fully justified by faith. And therefore, Lord, this morning, we pray that you may not look at our multitude of sins against you, but that you may look at your son, Jesus Christ, on the cross, crying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, and that you may, O oh God, have mercy upon us and have mercy upon our land. We commit ourselves to you. We plead for your intervention. We plead for your mercies. This morning, we continue to pray for other people that are going through difficulties. Wherever they are, some are in this country and others are in other countries, wherever they are. In particular, we are saddened by the news that we are hearing from China, that Africans there are being mistreated. We pray that you may intervene in that situation because only you are able to intervene. We are helpless, oh God. Please come to our rescue. And so we commit our people who are holed up in China and they are going through difficulties. We pray that, Lord, this morning you may come and bless them. You may come and give them aid that they need at this hour. We commit those who are sick before your presence. We pray in particular for one of our own, Mr. Ruo, whose child has been sick and admitted in Kenyatta Hospital. We pray that, Lord, you may touch that child and bring healing to the glory and to the honor of your name. There are other people that we are mentioning in the silence of our hearts at this very moment because they are dear to us and they are not feeling well. We commit them to you and we pray that you remember them and bless them. I want to commit each and every listener before your presence. We have different needs, O oh God, at this moment. We pray that, Father, you may come and meet with us at the point of those needs. There are some families where there is strife, there is no love, there is no reconciliation. O oh God of mercies, we pray for each and every family that is represented by the people that are listening to me. I pray that, Father, in Jesus' name, you will give them a spirit of reconciliation, that there will be love and harmony at home. Particularly in these days when we are spending most of the time at home and we are not used to that. We pray that, Lord, that we shall be able to resolve our conflicts amicably, that grace will abound in our homes. We pray for other people that are challenged because they don't have enough to eat. We commit them before your presence and we pray that, Lord, you may, you may be gracious upon them. And touch us, those of us who are able, so that we don't just pray, but we are going to pray and act so that we can be able to be used as vessels of blessing to those people who are less fortunate. So we thank you, Lord, because of this day, and we pray that as we listen to your word, your spirit will be upon each and every one of us. Give us your blessings, for we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are going to ask uh, Mukami to do her song, and then we will do two more numbers and hear the word of God. Thank you. Good morning, good morning, how are you? 
it's another Sunday and we want to thank all of you for watching and I know you are also excited the way I'm excited because of Christ who is risen and we want to thank God for giving us and sacrificing Jesus for, for us so that we can have eternal life. I want to sing a song, Jesus keep me near the cross. Jesus keep me near the cross, near a precious fountain, free to all a healing stream, rose from Calvary's mountain, in the cross, in the cross, be First of all, we will sing conquerors and then up from the grave he arose. La 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 Conquerors and overcomers, now are we. Through the precious blood of Christ with victory. If the Lord be for us, we can never fail. Nothing is this mighty power can ever prevail. Conquer us a we, conquer us a we. Through the blood, through the blood. God give us victory, victory. Through the blood, through the blood, through the blood. Through the lamb for sin are slain. Death for lives and raise again. More than 
กรสตาวีมาดันกองกรสตาวีมูดันกองกรสตาวีมาดันกองกรสตาวีอินเดเนมอวิสเตสกุกุลออนวัดเรสโอมาคามิซินานอรันไลชัสเนส Not was b o u n a n to him the praise shall be for salvation and for b r o a d w o o d victory. Conquerors a we, c o n e r o r we, through the blood, through the blood, through the blood, g o n n a give us victory. Victory through the blood, through the blood. Through the Lamb for sin a s l a i n yet who lives and reigns again? More than c o k a r a s a w i more than k o k a r a s a w i more than k o k a r a s a w i more than k o k a r a s a w i And to him the t o b a c o m e n t shall be given. He a t o e t of hidden manna sent from heaven. Oh, b y o d e r he the victor's p a m shall bear. He n o t of a white and golden crown shall wear. Conquerors a we, c o n e r o s a w e c o n e r o s a w e Through the blood, through the blood, through the blood. Through the g i v e us victory. Through the blood, through the blood. Through the Lamb for sin a s l a i n yet to live and raise again. More than c o k a r a s t a w i more than k o k a r a s t a w i more than k o k a r a s t a w i more than k o k a r a s a w i He is risen. He is not in the grave anymore. We start with this or this. Okay. This one. Okay. This one. Nea, we the mortal.
Wangoma, Nare Unia Toya Korea Igoro. Hallelujah, 
Christ arose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He arose. Okay. Yaki one. Please turn to your Bibles to the book of Matthew. We are going to be looking at Matthew. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28, that is our text. I will read verse 1 to 10 of Matthew 28. Matthew 28 verses 1 to 10. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning, and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him, and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he is saying. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, rejoice. So they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee and there they will see me. So this is our story for, for Easter, the great celebration of what God has done. He was raised from the dead on this Easter morning. Yesterday, for those of us who were able to to join as we looked at uh, the Saturday, we said that uh, on Saturday, the chief priests had a meeting. They actually broke the Sabbath law by having meetings, by going to, <clears throat> to Pilate to have, to have the tomb sealed. And Pilate had done with, with them. He was very annoyed. So he told them, I am not going to give you any Roman soldiers. You have your own temple guard. You can engage them. And so they engaged the temple guard who went. They sealed the tomb so that the, the Lord could not move out. And then they employed the soldiers to their own guard to to stay there. Then the following morning, which is Sunday, this is our day. We also say that women, the women were looking forward to Sunday morning. So Sunday morning, they woke up while it was still dark. As soon as the curfew was lifted, for those of you who know about the, the curfew that we are having here in Kenya of 5 a.m., as soon as the hours of the curfew were were lifted, the curfew of the Sabbath. Now the Sabbath is over. So the women went to the tomb. And when they went to the tomb, 
Mark says that as they were walking towards the tomb, they were wondering among themselves, who will roll the stone away? No, they were worried. They had seen Joseph of Arimathea and the, the people that were assisting him, probably Nicodemus was there also. They had seen how they had struggled to put, to put the stone on the tomb. And so they were asking themselves, who, who is going to help us? And you know, by the way, they could not tell the men to, tell, to, to take them there. Because by the way, by that time, all the men had disappeared. Akina, Peter, all the disciples, they were in hiding. So the women were all alone. They had prepared spices to go and embalm the body of Jesus Christ. And so, what are our lessons for today? Today, I would like us to learn three important lessons. Three lessons for Easter Sunday. Because the tomb is empty, we should not be afraid. Because the biggest enemy has been conquered. Death is the biggest enemy. And death was done a big blow by Jesus Christ on Sunday morning. And therefore, because death, the greatest enemy has been conquered, then all the other enemies that we have, we shall overcome. So lesson number one, Jesus overcomes all his enemies because in his death and resurrection, he defeated the world, the flesh, the devil, and death itself. So we do not need to be afraid anymore. Fear not. All the enemies that come our way have been defeated. Jesus is triumphant. And therefore, as we face the threat of the pandemic today, the coronavirus, we shall not be afraid because Jesus has overcome all the enemies, including, including the current pandemic and even any future pandemics that may come. Jesus is a conqueror. And that is why we are singing and saying that we are conquerors through Jesus Christ who rose again from the dead. Therefore, it is important for you to know, my friend, that Jesus has conquered our enemies. They may be there, but they are defeated. And therefore, we do not need to worry. We need to trust God because he conquered death. Lesson number two, Jesus keeps his promises. I repeat, Jesus keeps his promises. He is a promise keeper. He had told the disciples that in three days he would rise again. He had told the disciples that he would meet with them in Galilee. And on this Sunday morning, when the women went to the tomb, an angel appeared to them. And what did the angels do? The angels reiterated the message of Jesus Christ and the promise. The angels told the women, don't be afraid. He is not here. He is risen just like he had said. He has kept his promise. Now go, don't stay here. Don't stay in the tomb. You don't belong to the tomb. Jesus is not in the tomb. Don't look for him here. Go to the disciples and tell them, just like he said, they should meet with him in Galilee. And look at what happened. The women believed the word of the angel. The angel means, simply means the messenger. 
And because the women believed the word of the messenger, and they left at once, and they went in obedience, when we obey, we meet the Lord. What happened? Now they had met the angel. The angel had given them the good news. And now as they obeyed the voice of the angel, guess what happened? They met with the risen Lord himself. He first of all appeared to the women. Isn't that good? That when we obey the voice of the Lord, the Lord meets with us himself. My friend, trust and obey. Because when you trust and obey the, the voice of the Lord, you will meet with him. He's a promise keeper. What he promises, he delivers. He promised that he would rise again from the dead. He delivered. If he delivered that promise, then why are you doubting him? Why don't you claim the promises of God that are yours in Jesus Christ? Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, la la la, la la. La 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 la. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of Christ, my Savior. Standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God. Stand in the promises of God because He keeps His promises. Akisema takubariki, hakuna takaezuia, kwani yeye ndiye mungu mwenye baraka zote. When he says he will bless, he will bless. He is a promise keeper. Easter morning puts a seal to that promise that he is a promise keeper. But number three, he goes before you. He goes ahead of you. In other words, the future is, he is already in your future. What you will face tomorrow, he has already faced it today. He has gone on before you. He goes before us. Therefore, we, because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because our tomorrow is already today in his hands. I repeat that. Our tomorrow is already today in Jesus Christ. And therefore, he already knows what we will face tomorrow. Therefore, we can trust him with our tomorrow because he goes before us. He overcomes all our enemies. He keeps his promises and he goes before us. This morning, my friend, it is my prayer that the Lord will deal with your enemies and conquer them because he is a conqueror. This morning, I don't know which promises of God you are standing on. I want to encourage you that as long as it is promised, it will be kept. It is up to you and me to claim the promises of God. And his promises are yea, and in him, amen. And finally, he goes before you. You don't have to worry yourself to death about what will happen tomorrow. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds my future. And life is what the living just 
because he lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and all of us say, Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, dear Lord, because you are a conqueror over all our enemies. And on this Easter morning, we depend on you to conquer our enemies, the ones we see and the ones we cannot see. In particular, we want to commit ourselves to you so that you can conquer the current pandemic for us, O oh God, to the glory and to the honor of your name. We thank you, dear Lord, because you are a promise keeper. And this day, we pray that, Lord, you may come and fulfill in us the promises that we are laying hold of that are ours in the scriptures. And so I want to commit each and every member who is listening to me this morning. I pray that whatever they are laying hold of, whatever promises of God that are there in scripture, and somebody is claiming a scripture and a promise, I pray that, Lord, because you are a promise keeper, and you have said that you will never leave us nor forsake us. I pray that, Lord, it may be so to us. Thank you because you go on before us. We don't have to worry about where we are heading to because you have already been there. We thank you and we honor you. We give you honor and we give you praise. For we ask you this in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless you as we give our our Easter Thanksgiving offerings, because we are going to do some offering. We are going to sing one song as we give you an opportunity to turn to your phones or your or, or whichever method you are going to use so that you can give your Easter Thanksgiving to the Lord. If you are a member, of course, if you are a member of CCIC Church, the, de the details are there. If you would like to bless this ministry, uh, the details, the pay bill details are there. But uh, if you, it is important that if you are a church member, wherever, it is important that you support your church. Even this time when the churches are closed, even this time when the church doors are closed, the churches still need to pay their workers and their bills to be paid. So please, the fact that you are at home is no reason not to support your church. So please send money to your church. And for those of you who are members of CCIC, thank you for your continued support. Continue using that pay bill. And any other member, if you are there and you would like to bless this ministry, you can bless it using the details, the pay bill details that are on your screen now. We will sing one more song and then we can add with a benediction. Mm -hmm. I stand amazed. That is the song that we are going to sing. I stand amazed. In the presence of Jesus the Nazarene And wonder how he could love me A sinner condemned and clean How marvelous song. 
from Chalevabi. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. In pity, just be healthy. And came from the world of life to comfort him in the sorrows. He bore for my soul that night. How marvelous! He took my sins and my sorrows. He made them taste very old. He bore the burden to Calvary and suffered and died alone. We thank you because you, the, the tomb is empty and it shall be forever empty. And because your tomb is empty, even those of our loved ones who have died in the Lord and we have laid them in the tomb, one day their tombs will also be empty. We thank you because you are the great promise keeper. Give us your blessings. We thank you because of the gifts that your people have given. For every heart that has been stretched forth to give, we pray that you will stretch forth your heart and give them back again a hundredfold, even in accordance to your word. May they never lack anything good because of supporting your work. We want to thank you because of this day. As we face the rest of the day, be with us. May the joy of the risen Lord fill our hearts. And now I commend you to God and to his keeping, who alone is able to go on before you, who is alone, who alone is able to conquer all your enemies, who alone is able to fulfill his promises in accordance to, the, to, your, to his will. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his fame shine upon you 
and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all of us say, Amen. Amen. It was a pleasure to have you on this very important Sunday. May the Lord bless you. And thank you for watching our services. Asanteni sana.